We're back now with a terrifying mid-air plunge aboard a South American airliner on Sunday that injured dozens of passengers and crew members. Tom Costello is with us. Tom, this may have been a mishap in the cockpit. Yeah, that's one theory. Tonight, Boeing is telling airlines to fly the 787 to check the switches that control the pilot's seats because they could get stuck. The Wall Street Journal reports investigators believe a flight attendant delivering a meal to the pilot may have accidentally hit a switch that moves the pilot seat forward. That could have pushed the pilot into his controls, forcing the nose of a plane down and sending passengers flying. More than 50 injured, some with broken bones. In a statement, Boeing says we are recommending operators, airlines, perform an inspection at the next maintenance opportunity. This could contradict what one passenger told us, that the pilot complained his flight computer screens went suddenly dark. Importantly, investigators have not reached a final conclusion about what caused this plane to do a nosedive over the ocean, Lester. And Tom, there was another incident today where a plane landed with a missing panel beneath the aircraft. What can you tell us? Yeah, this is late breaking. It was a United flight from San Francisco to Medford, Oregon. A 25-year-old Boeing 737 landed, apparently missing a piece of panel on the bottom of the plane. No injuries. The United tells us it and the FAA are investigating. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.